Hello and uh, welcome back to my Skyrim playthrough. Uh, before we get to the actual gameplay, uh, I just want to show you the few mods that I've installed. Um, just because it's a bit easier than writing them all in the description. Um, I just wanted to give a reason really why I've put them in. So last time we just had the alternate start and the unofficial mod. We also had the waves mod, but that gave us some odd boxes on the coast. Um, so I've also added uh, a frames per second boost, just to see if it makes much of a difference. Um, we've got two patches. Uh, one's conjuration XP, so it kind of standardizes the XP quest and makes conjuration a lot easier to get into. Uh, and a couple and a couple of patches for weapons to make them a bit more uh, balanced, so we don't have like the uh, wooden and uh, antler bone weapons of the f of the um, what are they called. And people that live in the Reach, um, Forsworn, uh, being ridiculously powerful, um, despite them just being kind of bone and uh, antler type weapons, so it just kind of rebalances all the kinds of stuff. Uh, also got uh, unleveled item so uh, draw what's this so this fixes some bugs um, can't quite remember why I selected this one I think it just adds more stuff to the leveled list um, oh no I don't know what this one is so this one so you get items that um, unique items that when you pick up will have a certain stat bonus or enchantment based on the level that you pick them up um, so things like the nightingales armor and bows uh, and chill rend depending on the level you pick them up they'll have a certain enchantment strength enchantment um, and if you pick them up on a higher level it's obviously the enchantment's better um, but it's quite annoying if you accidentally pick them up or you wanted to do the quest where you will pick them up on an earlier level but then the sword or bow or armor is then fairly useless towards the mid to late game because you pick the weapon up at a kind of early point. So this kind of um, just unlocks the maximum version of it. Not that I'll be going to Mirac or the Nightingale stuff anytime soon, but it just means if you accidentally come across it, um, it'll just make it as powerful as it could be so you're not missing out, as it were. Um, and then we have rebalance level list. So this this changes the level list. So those are the kind of stuff that you find, the random stuff that you find on people or in um, chests and stuff. Um, this changes it a little bit. So only the, like dwarven stuff mostly contains dwarven now. Uh, farmer stuff mostly contains farmer, um, and it adds a couple of extra things that were missing. Um, it also I think takes off all the ebony weapon from ebony weapons from the. I would call them the uh, Draugr, so they don't have ebony weapons anymore, I think. Um, so it's just kind of things like that. Uh, also, dragons have a better loot, so it's actually a reason to go hunt out dragons. And uh, else we got? Enchant it all. Um, in the vanilla game, you're only allowed to enchant put certain enchantments on certain parts of armor, whereas this lets you put all enchantments on everything, which I think makes more sense. Um, Realistic ragdolls and forth. This is just wanted to try, especially if I'll be using arrows, um, just to see how they die. If they just die a bit better, apparently it's quite good as well if you're using swords and stuff. Yeah, and they should, if you kill them, they'll crumple in, depending on how you hit them and stuff. So it just makes the death a little bit more entertaining and realistic. Um, merchant death prevention. This just stops certain merchants from being killed. Uh, speci uh, specifically when you have a vampire attack or a dragon attack a village everyone decides to run out and attack them even though they've only got like spoons and knives and at higher levels they will get killed um, and I have had uh, Avlor in Riverwood and what do you call her, the uh, lady blacksmith from Whiterun early on, well not early on but I have had them before in previous games where they'd been killed because a vampire has spawned at one end of the town I had noticed for a while and had killed them so it just stops the merchants from getting killed uh, Parthenax Dilemma I talked about before this just lets you keep Parthenax alive while still siding with the blaze uh, Riverwood, Riverwood Reborn so this kind of edits um, Riverwood makes it a bit nice I just wanted to see what kind of um, uh, kind of village overhauls there were so far Forgotten Dungeons adds in some extra dungeons around the place uh, which would be quite fun to find uh, oblivious horses just stops your horses getting involved into fights. Animal poverty animals no longer have gold on them, so you're not going to um, 
get to find a skeever and find that it's got like a diamond hidden up its butt or anything. Um, so they're not going to have those on them, which makes it more realistic. But to counter it, uh, pelts are now worth more. So hunting, uh, there's a reason to go hunting now. You can get pelts and stuff and they actually sell for a fair bit. Um, I've got legendary creatures which adds in, is it ten? Eight powerful creatures across Skyrim. So eight special creatures of different types. Which should be fun to find. I think just fun to find things. As you go around, improved Daedric artifacts again makes the kind of uh, special weapons, the Daedric artifact weapons and items a bit better so they actually are useful late game and actually make them feel special because some of them are a bit rubbish. Uh, hold border banners, this just lets you know when you're changing into a different hulk, there's banners at the side of the, uh, the road that they enter the holds, if that makes sense. I don't know, just something small that kind of I find fairly immersive. Uh, artifacts of Skyrim, so this has added some more artifacts. Again, it just gives me more stuff to kind of find as we go round. Mammoth pelts, mammoths now get off pelts because why spend the effort to bring down a mammoth before you're going to steal if it's, is its tux, tusks and its snout? Why don't you take its pelt as well? Hopefully that will work in conjunction with the Hunter's Reward and better price for pelts. Uh, I've got Amber Armour and Weapons, which just, uh, I think it changes um, glass to, it does not replace the glass one, but it's like a glass variant that's all Amber, which I think it was one of the earliest kind of armour sets you can get on the mod side, on the mod side of things, so it's like the earliest armour armor mod that was out, so I'll be interested to see what that looks like. Um, also added a couple of weapons. I've got a Valiant Nord Bow, a Witcher Silver Swords, just to kind of see what the uh, what the modded weapons look like on this. And I've got Bandolier, Bags and Pouches, which I used to love on the PC. It lets you add. Uh, it's a bit like Fallout when you add a backpack, but these are like all sorts of pouches and satchels. Um, and they're really great, especially the ones that have like bottles in. Uh, so they're fantastic. So they're the ones I've got now. So that's 777 megabytes. Out of the five gigabytes we've got, there's quite a few of them really. Um, so I haven't tested it, but hopefully it'll work. So I continue. Last save game, probably. Alright, and then what were we doing last time? Last time we were in the temple of Nightcaller Temple. I can't remember which deity it was for. Was it Vermina, I think? Uh, was causing nightmares. There you go, Vermina, the Daedra Princess of Dreams. Um, so she was causing nightmares, or he, I think it was she, could be wrong, but they were causing nightmares for the village of Dawnstar, and me and this random priest guy, uh, I've gone in there uh, to try and stop it, and now, if I remember correctly, he wants me to drink a potion, just check, he's got a giant steel battle axe, put it on that, all sorts of dead people, um, where'd the guy go? So I was stood next to the guy when I entered it, was I not? Or is he further along through here? Okay, so that's doors. Well, that's a... Maybe we can open this. Is that not what we want? That's the Miasma Mist thing. That's what we've got to get through. Um, where is the guy? Let's find our quest. Night time. Drink the chapel. Where is Aranda or whatever his name is? Does he not want to be around when I take it? Maybe not. Oh yeah, we discovered that all the uh, ex-priests are drunkards because there's hundreds of wine bottles. He's probably wine kegs around the place. I have no idea where he is though. He has run off. Well, hopefully he's still around. Hopefully, possibly. That's one of the mods has just changed that. Um, but what we need to do is drink the potions. Let's give that a try. Uh, let's go stand near the thing first. I'm fairly certain this is where we need to be. Alright, so... What is it? Potions? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. There you go. Fermina's Torpor. Ooh. The orcs have breached the inner sanctum, Brother Varen. We must hold. We can't allow the skull to fall into their hands. But no more than a handful of us remain, brother. Then we have no choice. That's the thing I need to get. The asthma must be released. The asthma? But, brother, 
We have no alternative. It's the will of Vermina. And what about you, Brother Casimir? Are you prepared to serve the will of Vermina? Sure, why not? Then it's decided. Brother Casimir, you must activate the barrier and release the miasma. Let nothing stop you. Brother Thorin, we must okay. remain here and guard this skull with our lives if necessary. Right, so I've got to go release uh, miasma. So it's like up here. Okay, I just kind of run through. Hopefully, is there. This way, I'm assuming. Uh, oh, I'm assuming a lot of these people are the people we killed when we came through here. Like these guys, maybe. Don't mind me. What are they wearing? Oh, that's the new leveled list. So that's um, chitin armor from the uh, expansion. So it must have put the kind of um, Stol Stolheim, Stolheim items into the level list so people will spawn with them which is quite fun and just dodge by these people who are getting their lightning on and where are we going through here oh no just pull this thing give it a tug is that it did i do oh do i can i take that out or I pull this. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I can't seem to activate it. Disable the magical barrier. Ah, there we go. Just disabled. Here we got to do. Oh, there you are. What did you run off to earlier? It, it worked. Mara be praised. You vanished after drinking the torpor. And materialized on the other side. Oh, my I've never flames got anything hit. quite like it. Um, yeah. So that was uh, remarkable. Um, I, I, I could have died, I suppose. I thought I was clear regarding the dangers that awaited you. Within yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. However, this hardly matters any longer, as you appear to have exited unscathed. Yeah, I'm right, Peachy. Um, so yeah, what do we need to do now? Indeed. My reverence for Vermina's machinations should not take precedence over our mission. My apologies. The inner sanctum lies ahead. We must reach the skull and put an end to Dawnstar's troubles. Lead on, my friend. Right, so um, I don't need to ask what the Dream Stride will feel like. I've just been in it. Alright, so we've got Come to find on. the we Skull of Corruption. The skull and destroy it. What have I got? i got an axe on me. Did I have anything else? An Imperial Bow. I have a feeling though I've got, I've got one arrow. That's going to go well, isn't it? So let's creep through. I also think I'm out of torches, so we need to go down there to where I kind of started this thing. Oh, there's a guy there. I'm going to... I bet you I can't shoot through here. Do I want to use my... No, it's not going to go through. Like, maybe I should take a pot shot at him. But I've only got the one arrow and I think it's going to bounce off an invisible wall. Can I take that? No. Right. Oh no, right, you'll get up. It's just. Oh, what? Did that not. Fine. Get my axe out. Get my flames out. Right, anyone else coming? No. Nope. Right, you, Orchestrator, do you have arrows? No. Nope. Got some studded armor, which is not bad. Okay. Bone, bone mold gauntlets. They're the armor I spotted earlier, the kind of yellow. Ones, um, not chitin, um, but from from the uh, Dragon Ball DLC way, they're worth a fair bit. Let's take those. Well, they're worth 60, weight of 3.3, so worth taking. Um, ooh, there's a guy. Fire! Oh, don't know what caused Barnabas to just rush in there and slit the guy's throat. Rafa. Actiony. Um, monk boots, you can keep your monk boots. Right, what have we got in here? We've got soul gems, potion of magicka, potion of healing, soul gem. Uh, what's that? Draft revolution. Right, so we've got an arcane enchanter. Do we have anything on us that we can get rid of? 
Uh, or disenchant. We've got a novice robes of restoration. Let's disenchant that. Yeah, and I learned that enchantment. I wonder if there's anything I should enchant. Um, I enchant the Imperial Bow with. I've got a comment, so. Oh, we got alteration. No, I don't have anything attacking. Oh, well. Morale. One day we'll get an enchantment on our bow. But that day is not today. Right. Alright, I think we're good looting. Where to next, boy? We are kind of mace. Just gonna. There's a wardrobe. Don't know if we need to look in there. Probably some uh, monkish clothes. Oh no, this guy's getting up. You're shooting fire through me, Arandor. Barnabas had this guy. And his beehive husk. So, reason Barnabas is feeling very action y today. And a bit aggressive. His joints must be playing up. Never should have come. Although he's not sure he wants to take on an orc. I'll show you what a real Oh. Fudging balls. Um, that guy hits hard. Oh god. Ow. Alright, this is not going to go well. Um, Alright, so let's get some healing on. Let's get some. Just an illusion. Poison. Alright, let's give him some poison. This doesn't look like it's going to go well. I don't have anything else to... If only I had my arrows. Ow. Let's level up. Let's cheat. And put some health. Poison. Oh, no, he's got us. Well, must have run off. Damn. What kind of mace has he got there? This is the levelless. Blame all the levelless. <laughs> Don't blame it on Barnas versus combat experience. He was getting too cocky earlier, you see. He was getting too cocky with his axe, and this led him into trouble against an orc. Priests in robes are one thing, orcish invaders are another. Right, so we've got to do this thing again. That's what we get for not quick saving once I've done this thing. The orcs are blah, 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 blah. We must hold. We can't allow the skull to fall into their hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no more than a handful of us remain, brother. Then we have no we choice. Got. The miasma must be. Released. That sword looks a bit ridiculous on you, mate. The Just say. But brother, you don't seem to have a weapon. We have no alter. Maybe you do hide in there. It's the will of their meaning. Got a mace. And what about you, brother Casimir? Are you prepared to? Yep, then I'm good. Brother Casimir. Yep. You must activate the barrier and release the miasma. Yeah, ready Let whenever you are. Stop you. Right. We're off. Let's go. Let's go past all these guys that are fighting. I've got you like a horker. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Colonel through. Important mission and all that. Don't mind me. Sprint down here. That's these guys. Um, up here. Oh. This lightning guy. And pull this. There we go. Oh, any time now. Right. And then we need to grab this when it tells us to. And when the drug's worn off. Can we get it yet? There we go. Hey guys, so I went for the dream thing. You it was vanished weird and great. How I envy you. 
I could only imagine the excitement of seeing history through the eyes of another. I still want something to speak to you. Fine. Then you vanished after drinking the torpor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After what you just experienced? Indeed. The inner sanctum lies ahead. All right, come on then. We must reach the skull. All right, so. All right, yeah, we just got the axe. The dawn for now. Troubles. Lead on, my friend. Why do I have to? You lead. And try not to get your ass whipped by an orc. And I will do the same. Just drop a quick save. So that's a run through that thing again. But how are we going to get rid of that? Oh, right. stop well, see? These people are easy. Get you. You had a. Oh, you don't have them on you now. Those gauntlets. I'll take that because it's worth something, but. Oh. oh, do you just still Do you get in the way of my kill death screen thing? Got some garlic, take some potions. Well, an enchanter robe. Right, yes. Yes. Great. Enchanting up. Fantastic. Nothing there. So I wonder if I shouldn't have had a shield. Alright, come on then. Let's go. You trot on the head. You getting up? Nope. Alright. Anyone else getting up around here? Is there a shield in here? No. Miner's boots. Miner's blooming boots. That's not what I want. Oh, someone's getting up. Ah! And I can pick this. Yeah. See, they're way easier compared to an invaded orc. Why can't an orc be as squishy as a monk, priest person? Alright, actually gonna drop another quick save because it's gonna be right where the orc, isn't it? Um if I like crouch. No. What was that? Uh, maybe if we get the Yeah, maybe we should go for the flames. No, flames are not working. Flames are not working. Flames are not working. Ow. Oh god. How the fudge? He's got an axe that time. How the fudge are we going to kill him? I honestly have no idea how I'm going to kill this guy. So I need arrows, damn it. I need my arrows. A shield would probably also help. Oh, there used to be some. I think that might be a mod on there at the moment. Uh, it certainly was on the PC where it gave, it changed the elven armor into from gold to black, which is quite cool. If I like run past him. Uh, I think he's running after me. Oh, there's more people. No one's here. No one's here. No one's here. I'm not here. I'm not here. Is that that blooming orc invader? Oh god. Wowzers. And wowzers. Well, running and hiding like a little child did not work well. I think the only way past this is to lower the difficulty. Which is shameful because it should only be on medium at the moment. Alright, settings, gameplay. But otherwise, right, we're not going to get past them. Alright, it's on novice. I'll put my dunce's hat on and get this guy. Get some fire as well. Ah, fucking still not the other guy down. Die. All 
right, he's dead. But there is going to be another one. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's get some healing on. What did you have? You just had a steel war axe. Admittedly, it's better than my axe, but I'll take that. I'll take your shoes and gloves, just in case. Just in case they were giving you divine strength. Um, is there anything else over here? Can't really see anything. Some beds, some robes. You right now? Um, some robes. These guys got got some magic potions. Magic small antlers. Got some small sacks of stuff. Just a load of beds. Oh, we've got magic coin purse. Iron dagger, but we do have a chest. So, uh, ah, no. Barnabas's usual dexterity at pit locking is apparently not up to snuff today. There we go. Alright, gold pay soldier. Just what we wanted. Uh, right. Do a quick save because I'm still afraid that this next guy is going to kill us. Let's get the flames. Get the flames. What is this next orc? Is he up here? No. You're dead, so I'm taking your potion. Don't need. Right, I'm taking your wine. See, drunkards, a lot of them. Never seen so much wine. They all just hole up here and go on like a bender. So I thought that was wine, but it was a wooden plate. Ooh. Lots of healing potions. Again, probably should have been a higher level before I came here. But oh. oh, who we got? Who we got? Is that? Oh, that's that's the ultimator. Yeah, double teamed on novice. He's got some Pokemon ropes, but they're not the one to ten ratio for waiting costing. So I'm gonna leave that. High shield iron mace. No, that's not what I meant. I wanted the mead and the wine. Um, so I'll take the soul gem fragments, why not? Oh, is that it? Is there anyone else going to spring at us? Uh, Ooh, more wine. Baron, Thorin, oh. you're alive. No thanks to you, Casimir. I no longer use that name. It's going to be a mace off. Priest of Mara. You're a traitor. Ah, so I was Casimir when I took that potion, so I was him. No, so I, he, how I he escaped. Was scared. I wasn't ready to sleep. Enough of your lies. I can't allow you to destroy the skull, priest of Mara. Then you leave me no choice. We fight for the whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Ah. Take an axe in the face. Oops, sorry, Aranda. Yeah. Right, it's time. The skull must be destroyed. If you'll stand back. I'll perform the ritual granted to me by Lady Mara. All right. First, an incantation to remove the barrier. Yeah, yeah, you get on to that. I well, where's this body gone? I swear there's a dead guy. There he is. Um, steel sword, me. I got a steel axe now. Anything around here? Help. My little hiding space. Is so, there? Where's the other guy die? There he is. Steel mace. Yeah, I'll stick with the axes for now. But I will. Where is it? Oh, there you go. Wine, 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 wine. He's deceiving you. Oh what? When the ritual's complete, the skull will be free, and then Arinder will turn on you. Quickly, kill him now. Kill him and claim the skull for your own. Vermina um, commands you. Why, why do I want the skull? Um, some person's trying to get me to kill you. Activate the skull pedestal. That looks a bit creepy, doesn't it? You know what? I'm, I'm good, mysterious lady. I'm good. Barnabas is staying out of it. He's already been whooped a couple of times by an orc invader. He has had enough fighting for today. Go 
Come on around, dog. Give it the old disappearing act. Oh, now I've got to speak to you. Oi, don't walk off when I'm trying to speak to you. Forgive me if I don't appear relieved. This temple has taken its toll on me. Yeah, um... Gee, are you alright? In time, I believe I will. I'd constructed a meager shrine to Mara in the antechamber where we entered. My intention was to spend the rest of my years here, burying the past and praying for forgiveness. All right. But instead, I wish to offer my services to you. If you ever wish to journey with me, I'll be here. That could be good. There's no need to thank me. What you did was for the people of Dawnstar. If anyone should be thanked, it should be you. All right. Well. Okay. So we solved the nightmares. I think we can put this. Where is it? No, what do I want? Settings. Let's pop it back onto a depth now. Now that we've uh, cowardly got past those uh, orcs on a low difficulty. Why is all these empty? Damn it, drunkies. Wisdom to you, friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so he's going to be hanging out here praying for a while, which is great. Do I want to nab anything? I've still got, still got a bit of uh, space in my carrying capacity, so let's just just loot a couple of guys on the way out. Where are we going? This way. Do do do. Do do do. Run up some stairs. Go down a corridor. So I think next, if we head back to Dawnstar, could sell some of the stuff we picked up. And. Ooh, try and craft something like one of the uh, Bandler. Bandlers? Band Satchels. Let's, let's uh, craft a satchel because they're easier to say. Because I can't speak today. And up some stairs. No, no. This door? No, not that door. This door. Oh, yeah, this was the wall he walked through. There's a couple of books there. There's his shrine tomorrow. Do a quick pray in case we've got any diseases or curses. Uh, let's uh, pop up out of here. Well, that's one successful dungeon, I suppose. Semi-successful. It went at least a bit better than the other place, that lighthouse. Although, we did have to put on easy difficulty for a while. Alright. I think it has been about half an hour. So I think we probably... I don't have any lever on me to actually make stuff. Do we? I've got leather strips and one thing of leather. Let's just have a quick run back to Dawnstar and uh, get a band bandolier or a satchel, whatever barn the bus is in the mood for. How do I get that in there? Ooh, this might be a bit. Careful, old man. Careful, careful. Uh, can we even get through here? Yes. So I need the blacksmith's place. Where was the blacksmith's? I think he was on... Is he on the front bit somewhere? Don't mind me, guardsman. I'm just here stealing snowberries. Look at this. No, this was the... Um, yeah, I do know about it. But for now, I want to find the blacksmith's. Which is here. Alright, so that's... Get a tanning rack. Uh, leather, please. Oh, no, that's the bandoliers. First, I need to make some leather. Goat's hide, I've only got one. Right, can I make any of these? I don't need it dyed yet. Let's go for the standard. I can't make anything. I need. So all I need is like my four leather. And I can make some potion holders or pouches. Sorted buckles. I don't want to sorted buckles. I really need four leather. Damn it, leather. Please, I do love all of these. There's a big potions battle. Don't know where that is. 
Oh, that used to be great. I used to love wearing that. And the put pouches. Oh, I found a lot. An extra large. Well. Don't. So I'm going to need. What was that? So that's a standard one. Sorted buckles as well. No. Well, I can't build any of this just yet. I need to go hunting. Maybe that's what we'll do in the next episode. We'll try and go hunting to get some leather. Um, right, so thanks for watching this episode. That's why I don't do too much in a long mod talk at the start. Um, but we'll, we'll have any mods next time. Clark will start a new one straight after this. So hopefully we'll be straight into the adventure. So uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.